Hello everyone, in this video we will solve this interesting math question p times p times p minus p times p is equal to 100, p is equal to what? How to solve this question? It is an interesting math Olympiad question. So p times p times p, I can say that like this equation, it will be p to the power 3, because of that here is 3p, minus p times p, it will be p to the power 2 is equal to 100, yes. Now, at this moment, I can say that this equation becomes p to the power 3 minus p square. And if I move on this 100 in this side, it will be negative 100 is equal to 0. Yes. Now, this expression, it will be p to the power 3 minus p square minus, you know that, 100. It will be 125 minus 25 is equal to zero look 125 minus 25 it will be 100 yes now at this moment i can say that here is p to the power 3 minus p squared minus 125 plus minus it will be minus 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 it will be plus 25 is equal to zero i solve this question step by step okay now i can say this expression here is p to the power 3 yes minus p squared and 125 you know that 125 it will be 5 to the power 3 5 times 5 it will be 25 25 times 5 it will be 125 yes plus and 25 you know that it will be 5 squared is equal to 0 yes now at this moment i can say here is look p to the power 3 and here is 5 to the power 3 so here is p to the power 3 minus 5 to the power 3 bracket and i can say that here is minus and here is p square and minus min plus it will be minus 5 square is equal to 0 yes now at this moment we are follow to identity to rows here is a cube minus b cube so know that a cube minus b cube it will be a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square and here is a square minus b square yes so it will be a plus b times a minus b so according to this identity and this identity i can say p cube minus 5 cube uh, it will be p minus 5 times p square plus a b but here is 5 yes 5p plus b squared so it will be 5 squared so it will be 25 minus over that s square minus b squared will be a plus b a minus b so i can say that it will be p plus 5 times p minus 5 is equal to 0 yes now here is p minus 5 this is p minus 5 so i can say here is p minus 5 is again common so p minus 5 and this term divide this it will be this so i can say here is p square plus 5p plus 25 minus and this I divide this it will be p plus 5 is equal to zero because of that this this cancel we are find out p plus five. yes now i can say here is p minus 5 times it will be p square plus 5p plus 25 and here is p plus minus it will be minus p plus minus it will be minus 5 is equal to 0 yes now it will it will be p minus 5 and this expression it will be p square it is a quadratic equation and 5p minus p it will be 4p yes and 25 minus 5 it will be plus 20 is equal to 0 so we are finding this expression our uh, first case is p minus 5 is equal to 0 and other case we are find out p squared plus 4p plus 20 is equal to 0 okay so we are find out here is p minus 5 is equal to 0 in other case we are find out p squared plus 4p plus 20 is equal to 0 yes now in this expression i can say here is p is equal to 5 so we'll find out our answer p is equal to 5 yes and in this case look i can say it is a quadratic equation and if i compare 
uh, here is a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 20 yes so here is p p it will be minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 ac over 2a and i can say here is p it will be minus b b is 4 yes plus minus square root b square so 4 square minus 4 ac a is 1 and c is 20 yes over 2a a a is 1 yes now in this expression i can say easily it will be p is equal to minus 4 yes and here is plus minus square root 4 square it will be 16 minus 4 times 20 it will be 80 over 2 yes so i can say this expression here is p is equal to here is 2 and in this case look minus 4 plus minus square root minus 64 yes minus 64 then here is p is equal to minus 4 plus minus square root 64 times square root minus 1 look square root 64 times square root minus 1 it will be square root minus 64 yes over 2 then in this expression we know that uh, square root minus 1 it will be i yes so in this expression i can say here is p is equal to 2 and here is minus p plus minus square root 64 it will be 8 yes and here is i you know that square root minus 1 it will be i according to complex rules imaginary part okay now i can say here is p is equal to uh, here is minus 2 2 is common so it will be minus 2 plus minus 4 i over 2 yes then in this expression i can say 2 to cancel we are find out here is our final answer p is equal to minus 2 plus minus 4 i this is our final others answer so we'll find out p is equal to minus 2 plus minus 4 i okay so our final answer is p is equal to 5 and we'll find out our other answer p2 here is p1 it will be minus 2 plus 4 i and we'll find out our other answer p3 it will be minus 2 minus 4 i yes this is our answer and at this moment if i check out our question our question is uh, p to the power 3 minus p to the power 2 is equal to 100 so we are find out p is equal to 5 so i can say 5 to the power 3 minus 5 to the power 2 yes so 5 to the power 3 it will be 125 minus 25 it will be 100 yes because of that 125 minus 25 it will be 100 so i can say x is equal to sorry p is equal to 5 it is the right answer thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video and goodbye take care